guys, welcome back to Yarn and Needles. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to work the stockinette stitch. Um, this stitch I'm going to demonstrate using flat needles working in rows. Stockinette stitch can be achieved in two ways, either um, on flat needles or by working in the round. And we'll be looking at working it on flats today. So, to work for stockinette stitch, you need to know how to knit and you need to know how to purl. And I've got videos that demonstrate how to do these stitches on my channel. So for the first row, you're going to knit all stitches. I've just cast on just a random number of stitches to demonstrate this today. One thing to bear in mind with stockinette fabric is that it has a tendency to curl. So it's not ideal to say make a scarf in stockinette, otherwise you'll be very upset with the result. So just knit all stitches on the first row. This is your right side row. And then the wrong side row is simply to purl all stitches. So purl being the opposite of knit. Sorry if you can hear my needles scratching away at the table. I'm not used to using um, straights for this. So I tend to do all my knitting on circulars, so I don't don't have this issue. So like I said, just purl all the way to the end of your row. The stitch is lovely in hats, I do say. A bit of ribbing on the brim. And you just repeat those two for however long your pattern tells you. I'll meet you back here in a minute and I'll show you what it looks like when you've added a few more rows to it. So I've added a couple more inches to the stockinette fabric. What I'm showing you now is the right side of the work, which is where you work the knit stitches, which are characterised by this little V shape that you can see here. Flip over to the back. This is where you work your purl stitches. These are characterised by the little bumps. Now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Bye for now!